Are you tired of your flimsy third gen 4Runner antenna? Did it break last time you were in the car wash? Or did it get stuck and won't go up or down? Well, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to replace that antenna with something much nicer like this one. All right, guys. So as you probably know, these third gen 4Runners have a motorized antenna right here. So when you start the car, the antenna comes up and then when you shut it off, it goes back down. So my antenna motor still works. Like when I started the car, um, you can hear the motor going, which is pretty annoying. But my antenna was actually broken. I think it broke in a car wash or something. So I ended up just taking it off and I just want to replace it with a non-motorized antenna. That way I know it's never going to break and you know, it's not going to get stuck or anything. Let me show you what you're going to need as for parts and then we'll get going on this. All right, so this is all you're going to need for parts. So this is the uh, antenna assembly from the Tacoma. And then this is the antenna itself. I think they call it a whip antenna. Uh, this one is from a uh, first generation Tacoma. I got it off a friend. Um, you can get it off a, like a parts truck or you can even just buy a brand new one from Toyota. Um, but I'll leave the details in the description below. All right, so first we're gonna have to just take this dash apart because the antenna cable is plugged into the back of this radio. So we have to unplug that, uh, run the cable out this way. And then we just have to take the actual fender off right here because the antenna motor is somewhere in this area. So we have to undo all of that, uh, take this off, and then we can put the T Tacoma antenna assembly in. Okay, so to take this off, I'm gonna actually just put my shifter all the way back uh, just to give me some more space. Uh, so I just have the ignition on with the truck off. Hit the brake pedal and just push that back. Uh, the ashtray can come off as well as the cigarette lighter. And then these little knobs just pull off, I believe, yeah. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure this thing just pulls right off. You can kind of just start gently on one end. Okay, so this center part just has to pop off as well, just a little bit. And then I think we should be able to get this off, hopefully. All right guys, so I actually missed one step. Uh, so in order for all of this to come off, this has to come off. But in order for this to come off, uh, this has to come off or at least be loosened. So there's just a bolt or a screw right here uh, as well as on that side. So I'm gonna just undo that right now. And then that should just lift this up just a little bit, enough for this uh, just to come off completely. And then I'll be able to do that. All right, so I undid those screws. So this thing just comes um, up. Okay, you don't have to take it off completely. Just enough so you have enough room to basically pull uh, this whole thing off. Okay, so I got it off. There was just a couple more connectors here that I un, um, unclipped. And this whole thing just pops off. Okay, so now uh, all we have here is um, for the radio, just a couple bolts. Here's one, two, three, and four. And then this whole thing will slide out and then we can undo the antenna. Okay, so there's a couple cables here in the back. Uh, I don't know yet which one is the antenna, but um, I think we can just leave it here for now. We can uh, go ahead and undo the uh, fender and then feed the antenna out and then I'll be able to see like which one of these cables is uh, moving. So then I'll unplug that one. I'll leave it like this for now though. All right, so to take this fender off, um, in here, excuse the dirty engine bay by the way, I've been meaning to clean this. I'll get to it one day. But anyway, for the fender, there's a few 10 mil bolts here. So there's one here, uh, here, there's one up there. And then I think there's one in here as well. Uh, right in there. And, uh, and then I'm not sure, there might be one in the back of the headlight here. We'll see. I'll start with these ones and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm pretty sure this has to come off as well. Uh, so there's just one screw here up top. I'm gonna undo that. And then we can just pull this off. You just have to kind of pry here with your hands. There we go. 
So it looks like the fender is attached right here as well. So you just have to take this cover off here. So it's just this one bolt holding this little uh, filler plate in place. Alright guys, so I got all the bolts off. There was one uh, little bolt just under there holding the fender. A couple clips just in the, uh, like in the liner there. And uh, that's about it. So it's all loose now. Uh, while you're here, um, you can actually take this off as well. So mine's already loose, so it just screws right off. Um, if yours is tight, you may have to just put a little screwdriver here and just tap it with a hammer or something. But it should just screw off. This comes off. There we go. And then the antenna, that's the antenna assembly. You can actually just get it over the fender like that and then the fender will be free. All right, so here's what the antenna assembly looks like right here. Uh, so there's just a connector here that we can disconnect. And then right over there, it's kind of hard to see. Um, right there that bolt has to come off and that's that's all that's holding this whole assembly and then this cable right here is actually the antenna cable that i was looking for inside so uh, once i get that bolt undone i can actually just pull this a little bit and then that'll tell me which one is the antenna so i can just get it all out all right guys so there's the bolt <clears throat> i took it off so this whole assembly is free now so now uh, i'm just gonna pull on this just a little bit uh, just to get it loose and then we'll go back inside and um, see where this, where this is and then just pull it all out. All right, so back in here, um, I'm gonna take this off. This thing is just a couple clips right here and here. You literally just push and pull that side and then this thing will drop. All right, so I figured out which one we need to unplug. So it's gonna be this one. It's gonna be the thicker one of the two. Okay, so just unplug it. And then uh, I'm just gonna basically see like where this goes and just kind of feed it out. And then one little trick that I'm gonna show you that's gonna make your life much, much easier. Uh, before you pull this out completely, uh, get a piece of rope or tape or string or anything that you have, something thin. You tie it on the end of this. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this. I'm going to tie this on the end of this and then when I pull it out um, all the way out from that fender side there the uh, like my tape will go along with it that way I'll know exactly how this was fed through and then when I put my new antenna in I can actually uh, untie this tie it to the new antenna and then pull the tape back out if that makes sense and then it'll go back the exact same way as this one. So um, I'll show you what I mean in a second here. All right, guys, so one more quick little update. Um, I had to take a few more bolts out. So just right, right there, there, and one just kind of in the middle here, just to pull this down, just so I could see where that cable was. I had to kind of get my hand in there and just um, unclip it. And uh, now I'm ready to actually pull the antenna out. And one more thing actually that I found was this right here. I'll see if I can show you. Right in there is a little light bulb, which I'm really excited about. Mine's probably been out for years. So I'm going to actually replace that as well. And then I'll have some light in my glove compartment. So that was pretty cool. All right, so let's get the tape um, tied onto this and then we'll pull it out. Alright guys, so now that you got this old piece of crap out, you can throw this straight into the garbage. And we're going to grab our new um, antenna cable and just same thing, I'm going to tie it here and then uh, I'm going to pull this tape from the inside, hopefully it doesn't rip halfway. Um, but we'll be gentle, hopefully it'll be alright. 
All right, I think that's ready to go. So I'm just gonna start it right here, just kind of feed it through. And then I'll go inside and just pull it in from there. All right guys, so that's all the way through. So I'm just gonna use that same bolt that was holding the um, other antenna in place. I uh, use that to tighten this in place. Just gonna make it hand tight for now. Okay, that's all right for right now. And then uh, we'll go inside and just plug everything back in. All right guys, so as you can see, there is the other end of my um, antenna with the tape. It worked really well, uh, just push uh, pulling this through. It would have been pretty hard without this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, now I can get rid of the tape, get this plugged back into my radio, and then just put it all back together, and we're pretty much done. So I'm going to do this first, and then we'll go over to the fender. All right, so the inside is all back together, looking good. Uh, so we just have the fender here to do, put that back in. Um, I went ahead and tightened that bolt here for the antenna. Uh, so let's just go ahead and put the fender back in. All right, guys, I got it all back together. So there's the antenna assembly. So um, this came with the assembly from the Tacoma. So this is just gonna go right on top, just like that. And then there is a, a piece like this. This is the one from my Forerunner actually, which doesn't work on this. Uh, the one that was on the Tacoma, we ended up breaking. So I'm actually missing this. I'm just gonna get that later. I might get it from Toyota or something. We will see. But this is okay for now. The whip antenna can just go right in there and it just threads in. Screw that in and that's it. So once I get that uh, silver nut thing in there, it'll look a bit better and it'll be more secure, but this is perfectly fine as is for the time being. I'm really excited to have a radio again. All right, moment of truth. I'm about to start the Forerunner and see if my radio works. So let's check it out. It's working. All right, well, there you have it. That's how you do the Tacoma Whip Mod on a third gen 4Runner. Uh, really easy. You just need basic tools and the Tacoma um, antenna and the assembly. And that's it. A nice thing about this too is, uh, as you saw earlier, this whip antenna just threads on. So if you can figure out what the thread size is, you can just replace this with whatever antenna that you want. You can get one of those uh, short stubby ones or whatever, just customize it to your needs. And, uh, and you can listen to your radio. So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.